Now a Knoxville family is struggling with emotions after a simple procedure started a chain of health complications for an eight year old girl. Addie Rudd had her tonsils removed at Children's Hospital on Monday. Her family says she was rushed back to the hospital less than 24 hours later when she began bleeding from her mouth. She was then pronounced brain dead and this evening Addie is on a ventilator. 10 News reporter Mary Klingler sat down with Addie's family who says she was perfectly healthy just one week ago. Mary. Yeah, Robin, Brittany, the family says Addie had trouble breathing and getting her tonsils removed seemed like the best option to alleviating her snoring. Now as a ventilator keeps her alive, they say the procedure is their deepest regret. That's something I would not wish on my worst enemy. It's a pain you will never understand until you're there. Until they can tell me why, I'll never stop asking why. This is Addie Rudd, a happy-go-lucky kid with a passion for fashion. She did my nails. <laughs> she, you know she wanted to marry Morgan Wallen. Yeah, she, Morgan <laughs> Wallen is her idol. Uh, she that was her boyfriend. She knew boyfriend. most words to all the songs. <laughs> she, she loved to laugh and was a natural-born athlete. And she loved to swim. She was always the first person in the water. I mean, we literally couldn't keep her out of the water. The eight year old had her tonsils removed Tuesday and was sent home to recover. Her parents say the next morning, Addie woke up to take her medicine and seconds later, part of her arteries what ruptured and started bleeding in her throat. Addie went unconscious and her stepfather performed CPR until help arrived to take her to the hospital. She had to get seven units of blood when she got here. That's the part that we don't understand. We're hoping the autopsy will help show what really happened because we're all at a loss. Hundreds of years of medical experience between all these doctors here and there's still no definite answer of what happened. Now this family has a warning to other parents. If you got to go under anesthesia as a child, we should wa we should monitor them 24 hours. And I think everybody here feels like if she'd been here overnight, it had been a different outcome. According to East Tennessee Children's Hospital, Addie died at the hospital yesterday. Her body is being preserved by a ventilator so her organs can be donated. She was so healthy and everything was perfect. If she's able to go and save another child's family from having to feel the pain we feel, you know, I want to do that. Now, Children's Hospital declined to comment on Addie's death, but according to the Journal of American Medical Association, children rarely die of this kind of surgery, noting death is usually a result of an underlying health condition. Now, since Addie is an organ donor, Robin Brittany, Children's Hospital is hosting a donor walk for her tonight. Mary, thank you so much. And as Mary mentioned, Addie's family will be welcoming the community to stand outside of Children's Hospital to support Addie and the donor walk. They're asking people to gather next to the window of White Avenue this evening at 930 and that walk will begin at 10.